Not, not, not at all, in one way. Figure, Thorpe can feed the story of me and not. There's nothing wrong with Thorpe. But all the time it can get hold of an energy called me, then it can talk to me and me can talk to it. So there's sort of the thought arises and can attach to the me energy, which is a very sticky energy. It's continually gathering everything into itself. This is only a plan, this is only a story. But the thought arises and attaches itself to me, and then there's a circle of energy where, I mean, you, have you ever had that feeling that the same thought keeps on coming back like a CD? So that's the me feeding the thought, and the thought feeds me. So when the sticky me suddenly is no more, the thought arises out of that. We can't find anything to talk to, so it gets bored stiff and goes back to nothing. Again. There's no, there's nothing it can hold on to. It might come up again, but it can't find anything to stick to. But so, about what I'm trying to say is, there's nothing wrong with thought. It's just, you know, like everything else, it's an appearance out of no thing. For all the time, there's a me there. It can seem or appear to be a story of me. Uh, here it seems that um, when there's so many thoughts and when it's so fast running, like in everyday life sometimes, or most of the time, mm. <laughs> then, uh, then it's not at all that a thought comes and then falls back or so. But when it's slower, then, then it seems like. Well, it all But everything comes out of nothing, of course. So everything returns to nothing in, in our sense that it sounds like a story, but energetically, thought is nothing thinking. Um, but slower thought or faster thought is just what's happening. There isn't anything that can be done about either. The idea that you, you know, that meditation can slow thought down is just another part of the story.